What's going on guys? Today I'm going to talk about electric motors and how you can determine if one of the phases is bad. This will help you determine if your ESC or your motor is bad. And it's real quick, you can do it right on the copter. Let's get into that. But first, I've got a deck outside that I need to replace some boards. You guys are coming with me. are gonna open up any minute so I'm just gonna try to get what I can get done so gotta measure and cut the next board and get that in Couple more screws, and this one is done. So, something like this I always pre-drill. It keeps the board from cracking. It's a little extra work, but when you get two drills, it doesn't matter. One more board to go. So some of you might already know this trick, but we're gonna use a drill to test our motors. More on that in a little bit. I still gotta get this second board up. That app was right. It's raining. So I'm gonna see what I can get done and how uncomfortable I'm gonna be in this. Maybe I should get a rain jacket. Looks like I'm lucky and that was just a small rain squall before the big storm. So after chatting back and forth with a user on Instagram about a reliable way to test motors, you can use a drill on the bell, on the shaft, and spin the motor and test across the phases. And I'll show you guys that in a little bit. I want to thank you for sticking with me through throughout today. I had a lot to do today. That deck was a pain and I was fighting to get it done before the rain. So there's that. 
I want to talk to you today about motors. Sometimes our quads fall out of the sky and we have no idea what exactly happened to them. Was it a motor that failed? Was it an ESC that failed? A flight controller we can kind of test. Um, so, I mean, there's, there's tests for all these things. And I want to show you one that you can actually do while the motor is still on the quad. And it requires just two tools. And most people might have these around the house. Uh, not sure, but in this hobby, you need at least one of them. The other one, who knows, maybe your neighbor has one. But anyway, the point is we can test the phases on this motor. And again, there's a couple ways to do this. Um, so what we want to do is we want to test the phases on the motor. If the motor has burned up, it might burn up one or two of them and one might still be working or they're all bad. And there's a certain relationship that we can gather from the motor numbers, like this one's a 2300 kV. If we kind of understand how fast our drill goes, we can kind of understand how much voltage that we're going to get out of this motor. So at 2300 kV, we should get one volt out of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our drill, we're going to put the motor shaft into the drill, and you want to tighten down on the motor. And just don't really crank down on it, because all we want to do is hold it there, and then we're going to set this to the fastest speed the drill will go, and in clockwise fashion, we're going to end up holding the back of the motor and giving it, let me just, we're going to end up holding the back of the motor and just give it a full bore. Uh, what we're gonna do is test that with the multimeter. So let's go ahead and hop on the table and I'll show you just how that's done. Okay, so what you're gonna wanna do, take your multimeter, make sure it's on. You're gonna wanna set it to AC and then set it down to like this one has two 20, 200, 600, that's a measure of voltage. And basically all it's doing is moving the decimal place, but you want that on really the smallest. Uh, 200 milliwatts is gonna be a little bit too small of a measurement and it will make this particular meter freak out. So I have it on two. So that's gonna measure in single volts. Uh, it'll go only go up to two volts. So I can get 1.9, and it's gonna freak out after that. So that's what I want because this drill is not gonna give me more than the, this is a 2300 kV motor, so it's not gonna give me more than 2300 RPMs. If I get half that, I'll get half a volt, so that's great. So that's the setting you want on there. Next, I'm gonna take my alligator clips. I'm gonna hook the black to the negative lead and the yellow to the positive lead. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take the other ends and connect those to the motor. Now the motor I'm gonna take and I'm gonna put inside of the drill chuck and I'm gonna tighten down relatively loosely on the chuck. Oops. I'm gonna tighten the drill down on the, the, on the motor shaft and I'm gonna go easy with it. I don't wanna really crunch down on the threads. Uh, the, the best way to do this would probably be to put a couple of nuts on there, but you would need a gigantic chuck to get that inside of the drill. So just go like this and go gentle. And again, we're only holding it and gonna go full bore with the drill. So it's not really that much of an issue. So we're gonna go ahead and check the three phases. The left one with the center one, the center one with the right one, and then the right and the left one. That'll complete all our three phases. And what we're looking for is an equal voltage at full bore from this drill each time. And if we have something completely out of whack, like if we're getting half a volt and uh, 0.1, then we know there's a significant issue with the motor. So we want, we want them to be fairly close. So now we're gonna go ahead and test this right one against the center one. And I'm going to put the drill on speed two, so it's gonna spin as fast as it can. And I'm going clockwise. So here's number one, keep an eye on this. Roughly 5.7, 
Now we're gonna try the two outsides. Again, clockwise fashion. Five point seven, and now we're gonna check the left one and the center one. Five point six six. That's not too bad. And again, the drill is starting to run down on batteries. So that is how to diagnose your motors fairly quickly and reliably. It will let you know if one of the phases is bad. Uh, there's also the smell test. You can do that, but that's that's another video. Um, you know, you can take, you could pop the bell off, and you can see if there's any visible issues. But just checking the phases like that is going to give you a measurable output that you can definitely figure out what's going on. Uh, the other nice thing too is you could test all four of your motors and see if they're kind of equal and really that shouldn't matter too much unless they're way off if you're getting like 1.8 volts out of one of them and the rest are outputting one volt at the KV denotation. Uh, but yeah, that's that. So again, I want to thank you guys for uh, coming with me on the journey today. I know that we didn't cover all quadcopters, but uh, you know, I was busy and I decided to take you guys along with me. So if you enjoyed this type of video, I know it's a little bit different. Let me know in the comments below. If you hated it, let me know in the comments below too. I mean, that's cool. I, I love the feedback. So with that, I wanna thank my new subscribers. Welcome to the channel. Uh, this is, uh, this is gonna be a fun journey. I, I am having a blast doing this. Uh, and I know a lot of you out there are telling me you enjoy these videos, so I'm gonna keep it up. I'm continually learning how to do this, so it's a lot of fun. So if you enjoyed this video, click that thumbs up button and just punch that subscribe button because you only get to do it once and it's fun. And I'll catch you later, peace.